Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sherry Lucy here and today's video we will be trying this foundation on. We're gonna review it, we're gonna have some first impressions. I may do a wear test, that's usually how I roll when I try foundations on my channel, but if you're interested in finding out how this Benefit Hello Happy Flawless Brightening Foundation works in the color number nine on my skin, it's it. So, I'm just gonna jump into it. I've already had my brows on, I've primed. I'm wearing Tatcha Silk Canvas. So yeah, I've got a sponge and a brush. We're gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna do um, a whole pump on the brush. Um, I have no idea what the deal is with this foundation. Um, it was given to me and um, I mean, it already looks kind of reddish, but whatever. Um, I do want a full coverage. It's a really nice day here in New York City. The temperature has dropped um, and I feel like usually days where the temperature the temperature drops I feel more comfortable when wearing foundation I pray to God that this looks good on me because I will be doing a lot of concealer and contouring this is on the more red side um, I do like the way this applies with my brush and buffing it in um, it doesn't really smell like anything that one pump probably could have done my whole face um, just for my own research purposes I do like doing half and half and just showing um, what that looks like I think I'm gonna do concealer on my eye and then I'm gonna just do probably yeah that whole sucker right there and then we're going to compare you know what does this look like I'm wearing white shirt and white light pants oh I think I like it with the sponge butter yeah it's probably because I just have like a little bit of texture on this cheek right here because I shaved my face. But I am enjoying the sponge a little bit better. I think when you really want that skin like finish, a sponge just like really gets in there. So far I actually don't mind the color and I, I'm glad to have a summer color. I mean I only have like a month and a half left. Um, but it is giving me i have no idea if this is full coverage or not i will put in the description or talk about any specialties with this with this so it does have spf 15 in it and it's a medium coverage foundation broad spectrum and it's liquid as you can see i have never tried benefit i was actually kind of like hesitant to try this foundation because of the simple fact that they only have 12 i think maybe 10 foundations something ridiculous like a really low number and I'm like, who is that gonna help? I have no idea. But you know, these brands, they do what they want, right? I know it feels weird to be supporting a brand that doesn't necessarily have everyone's color. But you know, when you make videos, you have the opportunity to teach and to show the way. Um, this looks really, really good on my skin. I do want just a little bit more on my forehead. Um, I'm not a queen of like applying multiples. I multiple pumps of foundation. I prefer one that I have to just do one or two. Um, my happy medium is just finding a full coverage, or my happiness is just finding a full coverage foundation and then calling it a day. But I think the way that I apply foundation and how much I use um, are determining factors on how everything works out for me. Um, but yeah, this looks really, really good. It's doing pretty good as far as matching like the rest of my skin. I'm curious how everything will work with my concealer. It feels like a serum. It was super liquidy. Um, and then yeah, I just prefer this with a sponge so far. I think the brush um, buffing it in because I have a little bit of texture. So that's more of like a me situation and not the foundation that I, I really enjoy. Um, which is really nice and... I think one pump would give me sort of, I mean it is a medium so it's gonna, it gave me sort of that sheer that I like on days when I just kind of want to get and go like, I could put on mascara and put lip gloss on and be fine with this look, but because I'm going out and because I just want to see how everything works with the rest of my products, um, I did a second one and just obviously just to show you guys what it looks like. Um, as I mentioned, this is the number nine. I will tell you the price and any information um, either in the bottom bar or on the screen. But this is so, I have been going back and forth. You know, I've been talking about this bronzer for a while. This is the Hula Toasted. This is the deepest color. I did have, um, I believe it's called Caramel. I had it for two seconds. I hated it because it was pretty much my skin tone, but it gave like a little bit of depth, but I don't want that. I want to look like JLo. 
like I'm gonna look like toasty um it comes with your signature brush you know chisel the cheeks and all that good stuff and then your plastic I really hate that it's a pow uh, powder um a plastic like package but whatever this retails I think for $34 this was one of their new bronzers that came out one of two um, it's the deepest color I've seen mixed reviews I received it I want to use it and I'm just gonna dip in my morphe m 553 brush and get in there and give myself because I feel like on camera maybe because of the lighting that sometimes foundations kind of make me look lighter than I am and I want to bring back like that warmth so I want to marry the blush actually into the bronzer per usual like I always do and um, dip this. Um, I honestly don't see a lot of people using it but I've been wanting to use it for a while. We need to set these brows. We're going to go in with Gimme Brow. I got this during a sale from Ulta when they had that random ass like 50% of random things and I have always loved gimme brow i used to sell when i was at sephora i used to sell that all the time like gimme brow is a shit i love anesthesia don't get me wrong but gimme brow just does something different i love the brush um i like that there's different colors for hair colors as opposed to like brow colors um and i always found that it worked really well when i lived in florida where there was humidity all the damn time Ooh, what the hell is this the hair um I just like that it's literally little and I can like get towards the end and it doesn't really put out like a lot of product this is one of those products that I could just like just go just go with the flow with so that is it I, and I get the front of the hair is really perfect with these I may come back on camera in a few hours to tell you how I held up but so far so far it looks really good i what's most important to me right now is the fact that it feels nice on my skin um a lot of the times that i have been i've been doing videos this summer it's just because it's like genuinely hot and humid i don't mind the heat but i don't like humidity because i feel like it tires me out and it wears down on makeup if for example and i just i i'm not a fan of like trying to if you as if you haven't noticed i'm i don't upload videos on how to have the perfect makeup during the heat i'm an spf I'm a lip gloss, mascara, and fill your brows in kind of girl during the summer months. But today it's 80, so I feel good to put on foundation. I am obviously a little bit sweaty on my forehead, but you guys cannot see that. But overall, my body is cool, so it's nice to just put on a foundation and then it works with it. I do like how liquidy it is. I have never been a huge fan of medium coverage foundation because I like full coverage, and it's because I have suffered so many dark spots from breakouts and stuff. And because my skin is getting better, it's nice to have a medium foundation a medium coverage foundation in my repertoire of foundations trust me girl i got a lot i'm sure those people have plenty more um but it was nice that it covered up the spots um it never got pit, like patchy or cakey or anything like that it, it just worked in terms of where how you want a foundation to look on your skin um it feels extremely lightweight um, it does say it's a flawless brightening foundation so i'm curious to see how brightening it will get throughout the day and Honestly, I do like that it has SPF. I didn't feel like it had any of like kind of white cast or anything that kind of threw me off that made me want to put like more powder or anything to like cover it up. 15 is kind of low, but it's nice for that essential like the first like 20 to 30, 45 minutes of you being outside, whether it's to go to the train or go outside, you have that protection. Um, SPF obviously needs to be reapplied every two hours. Um, this isn't probably going to cover much of the UVAs and UVBs, but you will get protection, which is nice. And then you figure out how you want to apply it, whether it's spray or powder. Um, it's totally up to you. I think it's really cool that it expires in 2021, so I'll definitely get something out of it. I don't know how long I'll be able to use it just because it's a little bit darker, but um it looks really good i have to say it looks really good it's not clinging to anything um on my dry skin i will say that if you were to pick up this foundation then probably use a sponge just so you can get that skin like finish that i think sponges always provide whereas a brush will definitely give you a different kind of flawless look but i feel like it's more for um the type of look that you need to last all day i mean like hours upon hours those are my usually um some of my differences but it looks really really good i love that it wasn't too dark for me to use with the hula bronzer 
and the color toasted they are both really nice they picked up on the brush really nice and applied effortlessly um i would say this is like uh i want to say a 10 out of 10 i'm i'm very 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 impressed benefit isn't a brand that i would be running to um if i will be completely honest so it's nice to just have certain products that i know hey guys it's about 11 o'clock i just got home probably like 10 or 15 minutes ago and i wanted to talk about the foundation um i have my little pocket mirror i will say that i really do like the foundation i am oily just um like naturally i'm a combination oily skin i feel like during the summer months i'm extremely oily i was a little bit sweaty today but what was nice is that i have i feel more of a glow and it's giving me dew without feeling like i had to grab my blotting sheets and get to her i will take a little bit uh off just to get an idea for you know the camera and just for you guys to get an idea i really like it because um as i mentioned earlier i feel like the bottle is very much like a serum it doesn't feel like your traditional like thick or creamy or like extremely liquidy kind of foundation i feel that it is just kind of like a unique um brand in itself like i would say underneath my eyes even though we're not talking about concealer um i could clean it up just a little bit but like if i just took my my um blotting sheets and then maybe added a little bit of powder like if i wanted to continue the night i would feel good about it i would probably put a little bit of mascara reapply my lipstick and be fine but this is really really good for a first impression for a wear test i want to say that i started recording around two o'clock i will put timestamps in there if you guys need just to get an idea but if it was two or three o'clock i still got three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven almost what nine hours and i really like it even though it's dewy i still feel like everything stayed in place nothing really changed i mean makeup should change throughout the day but it looks really 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 good like i'm thoroughly impressed i love that the bronzer is still there um i would say that the only place where i'm missing foundation which is a traditional place for me to lose foundation is around my mouth i'm curious to see how this works with other primers i'm excited that it worked with two of my concealers and that my kylie kylie uh brightening powder and the my uh what powder did i use today set my face i used the makeup forever super matte um and that kept my under eye super matte and set um, I didn't put a lot over my face, but I really, really, really like this foundation. I would say that I'll probably continue to wear it throughout the summer and just really get a use out of it. Just so I can give a break to the milk one, um, which you guys know is my favorite. But sometimes you don't always want to be mad, especially in the summer. What was the most interesting to me is that I continued to like, I went on the train. I went other places where the humidity, underground it gets a little bit steamy. And as I was patting my face, just to make sure I don't disturb the makeup, it still looked the same. And I don't see any, but anything with a difference except for my upper lip area. And I'm just used to that, just because sometimes I blow my nose, um, things of that nature. And then my chin usually disappears, but I'm not mad at it. What's important to me is that it stayed on my forehead. It looks really good on my forehead. You know, like it didn't mess up my brows. I really, really, really like how this looks. Um, I would definitely recommend you guys getting a sample and trying this foundation. The downside to it is there might not even be an option for you. Benefit if you guys are watching the video, that fucking sucks. It's terrible that there are only 10 to 12 foundations to choose from. And I'm happy I have one for me, but it's probably really unfortunate for people who are maybe more olive tone or even deeper skin complexions are probably the fairest of fair that don't really have an option the way that I do. Um, and I'm lucky because it's the summertime because the next one down was honestly extremely extremely light so those are my final thoughts this is the end of my wear test i cannot wait to take this makeup off and go to sleep because it's just been a long day in new york city thank you guys so much for watching my channel don't forget to subscribe like comment and share below if you guys have tried this um foundation do you are you a fan of benefit and also if you are getting the pat mcgrath foundation i am fighting myself if i want to spend the 68 dollars a part of me wants to try it for the channel but a part of me is just like you're a junkie you need it duh See you guys next time.